Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarping, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is forecast accuracy. So we have some forecasts or some prediction about revenue, about total cost, about whatever. We have more than one model, and which one is the best one? So first of all, guys, subscribe our channel. You will be the first one to know when a new video arrives. And like our Facebook page, Accounting Hub by Dr. Scarping. Oh, how do we do that? The one with the lowest errors. However, we have a lot of different errors. We have mean error, mean absolute error, mean absolute percent error, and mean square error. Which one is the best one? So let's go to our Excel file. Here, let's consider that we have some quarters here, some total costs. So, oh, let's change this number here. Let's make it pretty, guys. So, oh no, Excel, come back. Okay, now they are much better. And okay, this is my testing numbers. And I have three models with these predictions, with these forecasts. And this is my actual numbers. So let's compare it and let's check which one is the best one. So here, medium and mean error. So here we have the... Uh, full names here. So the mean error is prediction less actual. Absolute error is the same error, however, ABS. So ABS, the same error. MAPE, it is the absolute error divided by actual number. So 12%. Minimum square error, meaning mean, uh, mean error square it. So times the mean error. And here it doesn't matter if we take the mean error or the mean absolute error. We will have the same. So we have no negative numbers when we square. Model two, the same. Uh, Forecast less actual, absolute ABS, percent, absolute, so percent divided by actual number, square, error times error. The third one, me, uh, for, oops. On the three, forecast less actual number, absolute ABS, percent absolute error divided by actual number, and square error times error. And guys, let's copy and paste here. Or let's delete this average here. Let's do it together. Copy here, paste here. An average average all of our quarters. And here the percentage is in percentage. So oh, guys, let's talk about errors. Which one is the best one? So first of all, let's start with which one is the worst one? The worst one is the mean error. Why? Because a positive number, when we combine with a negative number, 
the average is nothing. So the first one, an error of positive $1 million, the second one negative $1 million, the mean is nothing. The mean is zero. So the mean error, never, ever use it. Mean square error, very good one. We can have it here, the lowest one. So the lowest one is the model three. This is the best model. The stats guys, they love it. They love the mean square error. However, uh, it is an error that is very hard to explain to a known stat person. Okay, we have here numbers 14, 15,000, and the error is $248,000. So it doesn't make sense to explain it. So very good for stats, however, not so good for real life business. So we have two here, mean absolute error and percent error. Here, what do our percentage error, we can call it percentage as well. So here, 825, lower than 876, however, greater than 421. So the third model is the best one. However, Okay, we have this series here, and our error is 421. However, we have the scale here. Okay, 421, if we know our scale, that is good. However, if we don't know our scale, our actual numbers, then 421, we are not able to know if it is good or bad. And we cannot check our accuracy here the only error that we can check our accuracy is the may mean absolute percent or percentage error here 339 so our error is 339 percent that is anything that that is an error that anyone can understand and let's compare here model one two and three uh if our main for model one is 6.95 percent so our error is 6.95 so our accuracy is 93. the second one our accuracy is 93.52 almost the same number three our accuracy is 96.61 much better accuracy here so the only one that we are able to check the accuracy is the uh, MAPE. So usually when we are talking about business, we work with MAPE. That is the mean absolute percent or percentage error. Okay, guys, so thank you so much. If you have questions or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarpin.gmail.com. Have a nice day and God bless you.